my relationship with my grandma was that she was my best friend and I lived with her my entire life and my dad wasn't in my life so she was my second parent. She was pretty much everything that was important to me in my life. So when she passed away it was really really difficult. If my grandma was here right now I would tell her that I was sorry that I wasn't here when she passed and um, she really meant a lot to me and I miss her every day and every day that she's not here is really hard. Knowing that people have experienced someone here and I haven't, it feels really crummy. I feel if anybody should have any kind of experience, it should be me. When I lived here in October of 2006 to October 2007, um, there was a strange incident in the basement. I was about here, I'm grabbing my laundry out of the dryer and I turn around and going up the stairs. And it's right about here and I feel like there's some something watching me and I just I look back and right about here it's like this woman standing there with the blue floral dress on and I just lost it. I told Nikki that I'd seen a woman down in the basement with a blue floral dress and her face kind of dropped and she said my grandmother was buried in a blue floral dress. When activity first started was when Gianna was born. Um, I noticed that when Gianna would cry sometimes, very quickly she would be quiet and she'd be looking at the corner of her room at something. I don't know what it was. As she got older, she started talking to whoever was in her room. When I would go in the kitchen, the lights would be off and I think there's still a light above the sink. I'd be into washing the dishes and sometimes I would feel something like brush up on my back or something like that or I'd feel like a breeze walk by me and if I in the middle of the night when I was doing Gianna's bottles um, I would look up in the mirror and I would see like a shadow on this side like right here and I would like hurry up and look down and look back up and it would be gone yeah so I've had many friends who have lived in the apartment um, and They've, I've always heard the knocking thing. When I went to move out, um, knocking at the door started happening and there was nobody there. She was moving out and she said that when she was packing up her things, her fiance was taking her boxes out to her car and he would hear knocking on the front door and he went to answer it because he thought it was me or my mom or whoever it was and nobody was there. You would hear knocking at the doors during the day when nobody else was here but me, just knocking at the front door. And it wouldn't stop until I would go and check and there wouldn't be anyone there. Knocking at the window, knocking at the door, knocking at the back door. Open the door, nobody was there. Now my fiance's friend lives in the apartment and the knocking thing happened to him too. I was just checking the door because I heard knocking, but my camera wasn't on at the time, so maybe Angelica got something on her camera. What? That was like three. So you can hear like three repetitive hits. Like we couldn't hear it in the kitchen, but we heard it on the camera. Right towards the end, you can hear the, it was like real, like three solid ones. So we were just in the kitchen. I was talking about my experiences in the kitchen. I didn't hear anything to the end. And um, we just started hearing some knocking or some thumping. And I yelled at Nikki because I thought she was kicking stuff. And then Crisanta heard knocking in the living room. Crisanta comes talking about, did you hear that? It's kind of like, and we came to go into the living room. But before we, I get the camera off the tripod, there was these two noises. Uh, there was a microphone sound, like a screeching sound, like an electronic sound. Speaker sound. They're very distinct, like when you put a microphone up like close to a speaker, and it went twice. We don't have speakers in here at all. The guy who lives there doesn't have them either. That was really piercing. Very piercing. We heard it, but Crisanta didn't hear it. Well, you know how like if the microphone goes next to the speaker? Yeah, I didn't hear that. As we sat to look at the footage, we heard something everywhere. It's it. muffled. Like if somebody was going like this, there's a mic. It goes next to the speaker. 
and goes next to the speaker. But nobody was moving. I was standing right there. One's like playing with the microphone, like somebody's touching the microphone. They're claiming that somebody was touching my microphone. I don't know. I was behind the microphone. I was behind the camera. When she's talking about if you caught if you caught something on your camera, again at the end, it's like somebody sitting in this. People caught the knocking. People caught the knocking. Somebody blowing on the microphone. I don't know who. <laughs> my like my I feel tingly right now.